Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited clear lens FECO with intraocular lens implantation. The patient is under topical anesthesia, not much cooperative. So I hold a thick area of the limbus with a tooth forceps and do the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom. I keep holding take a lens tip knife and about 90 degree away make a side port. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now capsulorexis is to be done. I take a utrita forceps make a puncture at the center, raise the capsular tag, guide this tag all around anticlockwise and do a continuous curvilinear capsular excess. And now is the time to do hydro dissection. A 27 Gauss cannula and basis is used to do hydro dissection. The fluid wave goes from one side to the other side, another fluid wave and now the antechamber is again filled up with visco. And now I take the pre-chopper designed by me and the nucleus sustainer and divide this nucleus into two heminuclei. This is real time. Now rotate this nucleus and 90 degree away another pre job and we get four pieces. Visco again and now is the time to use the hand piece to remove the nucleus. The FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down and I try to remove some cortical lens matter immediately on piece comes out. Then I rotate, place the aspirating port of the FECO needle at the margin of a fragment and it is lifted off and it gets emulsified and then this one and in no time all the pieces are emulsified and now I use the hand piece itself to remove some cortex. This has some a learning curve and if your intuition says that this step is dangerous, do not do this, just use safer ways of cortical aspiration. You can use bimanual IA or coaxial IA or a Simco cannula. So almost half of the cortex has been removed inject little more visco and now I use a Simco cannula to remove this cortex. So most of the cortex is removed, a speck is there just underneath the main wound. The side port is small, it does not go through the side port. So I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration, place the irrigation through the main wound and the aspiration in few seconds removes the cortex, sub incisional cortex. 
And now I enlarge the main wound because I am going to use a B cartridge. Enlarge the main wound by a cut. Now the size of the main wound is about 3 millimeter. Now here goes the single piece monofocal aspheric hydrophobic intraocular lens. The lens is placed in the bag and now the irrigating probe is used to wash out any visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber. Simco, 23 gauze Simco is stricken. The patient is instructed to look straight and first irrigation and then irrigation and aspiration is done. The two small air bubbles did not come out and I did not want to uh, remove it using visco. So, let it be there, it will get absorbed within a day or two. The antechamber is nicely formed, integrity of the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. The patient was 50 years old and I thought it is not worth taking the uh, you know, fake ik I will. Anyway, the patient is 50 and I instructed to go for clear lens FICO and IOL implantation. Indirect ophthal ophthalmoscopy has been done pre off very thoroughly and it will be repeated one week after surgery and then three weeks after surgery. Thank you very much for your attention.